Okay, go. Hey guys, welcome back to Fitness in the Outdoors with your instructor, Mikey. I couldn't travel too far for today's workout, so I'm just in my alleyway outside my apartment right now. Today's workout is gonna be about 30 minutes of a total body workout with a lot of elements of balance, core training, and cardio elements in our workout. So the structure of today's workout is we have 11 exercises, right? And we're doing two sets each. The first five will be our total body strength. After that, we're moving to two cardio exercises. And then we're gonna finish off with five exercises, mainly abdominal based. So without further ado, let's get warmed up. Let's start by just finding our space on our mat or on our floor. Let's start by doing some simple neck rolls all the way around the axis of our head. Take a moment here to take some deep breaths and just center yourself as you prepare for today's workout. Let's switch directions. I invite you to set an attention for today's exercise and just why you're here. Why are you doing this video? What do you want out of this video? And once you find that intention, just remember to remember that as we go on through today's workout. Let's start with some shoulder circles. So we're gonna go palms facing forward and forward circles. Let's gradually make these circles bigger and bigger. And now let's make them as big as we can go. All right, let's turn those palms backwards and let's keep it big. Reverse arm circles. And let's make them a little smaller. And finally the smallest they can go. Nice. All right, let's take a nice wide base. Arms up. And let's go down to right arm, left leg, back up. And then left arm comes to right leg back up. Let's do that again. And up. Let's go one more time to each side. Last one. All right, very nice. Let's get our heart rates going here. We're going to start with high knees. So let's start moving, let's get those knees up high, and let's pump those arms. Keep breathing. We keep drop the warm up. It's very important. Okay, let's switch it to butt kickers now. So, driving the heel up. So they're almost kicking their butts. Three, two, one, and now jumping jacks. Three. Two, one. Very nice. All right, hope you're feeling warm. If not, do a little more to get warmed up, but I'm gonna get started in today's workout. So the first exercise we're gonna do is our inchworms. So those inchworms, we're going to do eight. And then on the last one, we're gonna do a 30 second low plank hold. So let's face sideways, arms come up. We're gonna forward fold down walk our hands to a plank and then walk our hands back bending our knees coming standing that's one bending our knees a lot coming up two try to focus on your core engagement as you're going down Keeping yourself nice and stable as you come to this. Nice, that's four. And we're at five. That's six.
seven. And now we're on eight. And we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds in our plank at the last one. And now we're going down. Just find our plank posture here, keeping our elbows stacked over our shoulder and a nice flat neutral spine. We're halfway there right now. Nice guys, feel that core engage. Three, two, one, done. Nice. Now we're gonna move on to alternating jump lunges. We have 16 lunges total, so eight per side. We're gonna start meeting with our right leg first. Ready? Let's go. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nice, guys. That was pretty easy. All right, let's move on to our pyramid push-ups. So here, we're going to do three normal width push-ups, followed by three wide push-ups, and then three close grip tricep push-ups. After we do three, we're going to go to two normal, two wide, two middle, until we get to zero. Ready? Let's find our plank posture. And normal width push ups. Let's go. Now right, let's take those hands wide. This is engaging our pecs a little more. Now let's take it close. Keeping our elbow pits forward. Nice. Let's move right into two. Normal width. Two wide. and two tricep. We only got one more, each step. Take it wide, take it close. Nice. That's our pyramid push-ups. Now we're gonna move into our shoulder blaster. This one's gonna be a bit intense. You're gonna have to follow me along for this one. We're gonna do eight sh shoulder raises with thumbs up followed by eight down, and then eight up, and then down, and then take it wide, doing the same pattern. And just stick with me, and you'll be okay. You guys ready? And let's go, thumbs up. Two, three. Try to keep your core engaged here, and keep a neutral spine. Don't let yourself hyperextend. Seven. And eight. All right, thumbs down. Bring them up. This is engaging our rotator cuff a little more by having the thumbs down. Okay, now thumbs up and then down. Up on the way up, down on the way down. Seven and eight. Nice. Let's take the thumbs wide. Thumbs are up. Seven and eight. Okay, thumbs are down. Six. Seven, and eight. Okay, thumbs up on the way up, down on the way down. Feeling that blast in our shoulders. And last one. Okay, let's take the arms wide. Now we're going all the way over and down. Six, seven, eight. Okay, now finally a shoulder press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, feel the burn, five, six, seven, last one, eight, Woo! shake those shoulders out, feeling the burn there, you're probably feeling the lactic acid, really just feeling your whole shoulder girdle there, nice work, okay, last exercise of this first phase is our single leg deadlift, so normal deadlift, feet together, and we're coming straight down and then up. Here, I'm gonna start with standing left leg first, and my right leg's gonna flag behind me as I reach down. So these are our single, single leg deadlifts. We're gonna go eight per side. So let's start with that left leg down, and let's go. This is really incorporating a lot of balance to this exercise, as you can see. It really helps to find a point that you can gaze at. And don't let your eyes drift away. That'll help with the balance. Also, if going that far is too hard, just come a little bit. That's okay too. We can progress from there. But a little bit here is fine. Okay, that's eight per side. Other side. Right leg standing down. Let's go. Halfway. Last one. Nice work, guys. That was the uh, one set for the first phase. Now we're gonna repeat that first set before we move on to the next ones. So that means we're going back to our inchworms. Eight inchworms with a 30 second plank hold at the end. Let's go. Walk it out, bring it on back. Bend the knees a lot, rise up, forward fold down, walk it out. <clears throat> Try to keep your core squeeze really tight this whole time. We get maximum engagement and to make sure our core is leading this movement. Let's go, two more. All right, this is the last one, we're gonna hold it at the end. Come down the low point, and we're holding. to minimize any movements or sways you might have. I know you probably want to rock, but let's try to just stay hard as a rock. Halfway, guys. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, down. Nice going. All right. Alternating jump squats. 16 total, eight per leg. Right leg starts first, in front. Let's go. Halfway. And 16. Nicely done. Okay, pyramid push up. Let's come down, find our plank posture. Three normal, three wide, three tricep. Ready? Set? Let's go. Take it wide. And bring it close. Normal. As a reminder, you can always do these on your knees. That's perfectly fine with me. We can always progress and make it more challenging in other ways. All right, one each way. And close. Whew. Nice. I love the outdoors because 
getting a little messy in the process and that's always good for you. All right, it's shoulder blaster time. I know, it's gonna be tough, but we only have one more blaster to do. You guys ready? Eight reps, thumbs up, let's go. And of course you can do these with weights if you have them at home, but the way I'm feeling right now, I don't think weights are needed. Seven and eight, all right, thumbs down. Seven and eight. All right, up and then back down. Halfway. We got one more. Nice. Woo, let's check it out real quick. Well, now we're going lateral raises. Ready? Thumbs up. Let's go. Try to come all the way up, hands meet, so we got a full range of motion here. One more. Nice, thumbs are down now. You'll notice you get a lot less range of motion with these thumbs down because our rotator cuff is engaged and that's gonna bring, just change the way our shoulders can move. One more. Nice, okay, thumbs up, coming back down. Up and down. Keep it breathing. Let's go last one. Nice, okay, thumbs up, come all the way over. Feel the burn, you're doing great. Last one. Nice, okay, check it out real quick. It's shoulder press time. We got eight, grab that imaginary bar, let's go. Try to keep those elbows back, not forward, but back as we rip it out. Woo. Three, two, one. We're done with that. Shoulders are officially blasted. Way to go. All right, single leg deadlift for our final first phase workout. Right leg, sorry, left leg standing first. Right arm comes out to counterbalance our right leg coming back. Let's go. It's actually opposite. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Last one. Nice, all right. Other leg, right leg standing, left arm comes up. I switch it again, right arm's coming up. Ready, let's go. Once again, you don't have to come all the way out like I am, just a couple little bits here. Working on that hinge motion. Last one. Nice guys. Congratulations. Done with phase one. Phase two is our cardio phase. We just have two workouts we're doing. We're doing uh, ice figure skaters for a minute. And we're gonna do mountain climbers for a minute. Two sets here, just like we did the first time. So take this opportunity, grab some water. Get your breath back. We're gonna get started here in about 15 seconds with our figure skaters. So those, I am coming in outside. And here. To make it a little easier, you can even just do side, te side steps here for a minute. You can get the arms in if you want. But I'll be for skating, come skate with me. You guys ready? Go on right side first, set. Let's go. Now I'm trying to get 
as far back as I can to really work this range of motion in my trail leg. Now, I don't like this pace, but if you're feeling really intense, feel free to double time it. You can do that, or just stick with me at my pace, or I can go a little slower. That's fine too, as long as you're moving with me. Halfway. And obviously it's a little harder if you try to lunge lower. So think about that as we're coming up in the last 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Nice. Whew. We're going to mount mountain climbers next. So we're gonna be down on a mat. And instead of lateral motions, we're going straight forward in our sagittal plane. Get your breath back. We're starting in five seconds. Ready? Set? Let's go. Now, if this is hurting your shoulder or your wrist, feel free to switch on over and just do some bicycles. If that's bugging your shoulders or your wrists. Otherwise, come here and keep climbing that mountain. Making sure to keep joints stacked, such as a wrist, and your shoulder. Nice guys, 20 more seconds. Nice work guys. That's one set done. We just gotta do that one more time. So I'm gonna get some more water. I encourage you to do so too, but take little sips. Just little sips of water. Whew, feeling that heart rate elevated. That's what I'm talking about. We're out here. Or you're in there, getting fit, life is good. Okay, you guys ready for more figure skaters? Or side toe steps, that's perfectly fine. All right, let's go in three, two, one. Your heart is really gonna thank you. For making it work so hard in ways that's so healthy for it. I'm gonna keep the breath going. I like to breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. Keeps my body a little cooler. Nice guys, 20 more seconds. Keep skating. Keep it up. Three, two, one, time. All right, we got 15 more seconds of rest. Then it's mountain climbers. Alright, you guys ready? <laughs> I guess I am. It's set. Let's climb. Keep the breath going. Think back to your intention that you set and why you're here. Watch me do this ridiculous movement. 
and watch him to get better. And this is how you get better, right here. This is why it gets hard. And you just keep pushing through. Ten more seconds. guys. Bravo. So that's the end of our cardio portion. Phase two is complete. Take a second, get some water, towel off, and move on to our last set. phase here five exercises they're gonna be a lot less cardio intensive than the first ones were so if you're not you can make it through this okay first one we're doing it's called the airplane crunch so if you're familiar with the airplane pose we're here balancing arms will eventually come to here now in this pose we're gonna connect Opposite knee, opposite arm. And crunch it in. We're gonna go eight reps per side. You guys ready? Let's find our airplane. Stand, left leg is standing. Okay, let's bring those arms forward. And if you just gotta stay here, that's totally fine. But if you're ready for a challenge, let's crunch eight. One, two, three, Four, five, six. <laughs> Airplane's going down. Seven and eight. Nice. Obviously, a really advanced move. There's so much in balance. And I'm asking you to use your core on top of that. So it's a progression. All right, right leg standing, left leg back. Hey, reps. Find your airplane. Arms come forward, right elbow, left knee. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Try to go for control and stability as you make that connection. Last one. Woo. Feeling that there. Nice work, guys. Okay, next one, we're on our butts. Doing a Russian twist. Weights are, weights are optional for this, but if you do have weights, try to keep it lighter so we don't put abnormal strain in our low back. We have 30 reps, 15 per side. We're here in a boat pose. I'm gonna make fists, and I'm gonna tap to the ground. There we're going. This twisty motion really engages your external obliques, which is an essential part of any rotation movement from your core. And 30. Nice, guys. Doing great. Okay, next exercise is a Superman. So it's a little untraditional, that's how I do them. So follow me and we'll be just great. So we're gonna be lying down on our bellies. Arms are straight out and ahead of us. Now for these, I'm coming up right arm, down. Left arm, down, and then double. We're gonna repeat that 10 times. Uh, so a total of 30 lifts. This is really engaging our abs. You guys ready? Set, right side, left side, and double. That's one. Two, 
right side, left side, and up. Let's try to keep our face down into the mat. Now up like this, so we don't put any weird strain onto our necks. Guys, you're doing super. Oops. So bad. And double. You're probably really feeling those shoulder blasters about now, huh? All right, last one. Nice. Whew. Let's just bring this back to down dog real quick. Knees are wide, arms come forward. Feeling the lengthening in our low back and our shoulders. All right, let's pull it back forward. Kind of wiggling through. Just feeling how our shoulders are doing. Because we've done a lot of work on them already. <laughs> okay, next is our ab roll ups. So we're going to be down to a crunch like position on our mats. So we're here in our crunch position. And for the roll up, hands start on your thighs. You're going to slide those hands up and come up and then roll down one vertebrae at a time. And that's one. So we're gonna do that 10 times. You guys ready? Let's go. And we're sliding the palms coming up and then vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae coming on down. Inhaling on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Nice and controlled. Halfway. Really slow on the way down. That's the most important part. Got two more. Last one here. Down nice and slow. Nice. Okay. We have one more exercise before we repeat this last phase. And that, I call it analog balance. Time for balance. Basically, all you gotta do is stand with feet together. And now think of there's a whole analog clock around. So straight ahead is noon, 12 o'clock. To your right is three. To your left is nine o'clock. And right behind you is six. Now I'm gonna call out different times. And I want you, we're gonna start with the right leg first. If I say noon, for example, I'm gonna bring your right leg forward as far as you can, tap the ground and bring it back. We don't wanna step because then it takes all balance out of this. We're just trying to lightly tap and get as far in any direction to work on our balance and our control as we bring a limb further away from the body. So, right leg starts. Let's go 12 o'clock. Here we go. Nice, let's go three o'clock. One o'clock. Six o'clock. Seven o'clock, eleven o'clock, four o'clock, two o'clock, nine o'clock, noon, and last one is five o'clock. Nice. Shake that standing leg out a little bit. 
and now we're gonna go right leg standing, left leg is moving. Okay, let's go 12 o'clock. Six o'clock. Nine o'clock. Three o'clock. 10 o'clock. Seven o'clock. <laughs> Eight o'clock. It's challenging. One o'clock. Three o'clock. Probably the hardest one. Two o'clock. <laughs> nice guys. I hope your balance was a lot better than mine was. But hey, we're just getting better. We're challenging our balance and our stabilizers. So failure is it's what it's all about because that's how we get better. All right, let's repeat this last phase one more time. Then we'll cool down together. So we're back to our airplane crunch. Okay, left leg is standing, right leg is kicking back. Here we go, find your airplane. Come forward. This is fine. Even here's fine. You just want to stay here. Let's crunch. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. Eight more on the other side. Right leg is standing, left leg is back. Here we go, find your point. Arms come up and right, off, right elbow, left knee. Seven and eight. Nice. That's a burner. Okay, now we're going down our butts to our seated Russian twist. All right, 30 reps, total 15 per side. Grab a weight, grab a pillow. You can grab your dog or a cat. I'm sure they would love to be involved in this. Ready, let's go. I'm actually touching the ground and going back far to fully engage my external obliques. It's hard, but you want to fight this twisting here in your knees. You want to try to keep that as stable as you can. Twenty-nine and thirty. Nice, let's bring those knees into our chest. Do some forward and back rocks. Just rolled on a rock, ow. I still love the outdoors, it's okay. Okay, now we're going back seated for our Supermans. Okay, 10 total. Sorry, right leg. Sorry, right hand. Good? Let's go. That's one. Two. Halfway, guys. Keep it breathing. Let's go two more. Last one. Nice. Now we have our ab roll-ups. So, I don't know why I got up. 
But we're going back down. <laughs> See, our about halfway the part here. Kind of crunch position. Hands on our thighs. And let's glide those hands up past that sticky point and roll it down nice and slow. You want to think of driving your weight through your heels to help keep your lower body down. If that helps. Or you can have a partner step on your toes or hold your ankles. And that might help too. Nice. Let's go three more roll ups. Here we go, last one. Let's make this one extra slow. Slow motion. I'm still up. And down. Okay guys, we got one more. Let's finish strong with our analog balance. Let's try, I try, I want to challenge you to go as far forward as you can without falling. Just try not to fall the whole time. Easy, right? Let's see if I can do it. Left leg is standing, right leg's pointing. Let's go noon. Six o'clock. One o'clock. Two o'clock. Four o'clock. Three o'clock, three o'clock again, nine o'clock, switch it up, 11 o'clock, six o'clock, one o'clock, last one is seven o'clock. Nice, check that standing leg out. And let's go stand on the right leg, left leg points. Okay. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9, 10, 11, 12, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, Four o'clock. Last one is five o'clock. Woohoo! Nice job, guys. Way to go. Let's breathe nice and deep. Arms come to the sky. Inhaling and exhaling forward, fold down. Let's come up halfway lift here. Hands to shins or knees. Wag those tails. Nice flat back, and let's fall again, forward fold. Bend the knees a lot, come up high. All right, let's take right arm, bring it across the body. We want the right elbow to be down and away from our ear. Not up in our ears like we're on the phone, but down and away. It's gonna get the stretch that we need. And let's just close our eyes. Take some big, deep breaths. Last breath here. Nice, shake that arm out. Three arms wide, left arm comes across the body. Once again, shoulders down and out. And let's close your eyes again. Take some nice big breaths. Last breath here. All right. 
Let's take a right arm tricep stretch. So it comes like you're gonna scratch your right shoulder. I'm gonna use my left hand to help get my elbow up a little higher. And we're gonna breathe here. Last breath. Nice. Now let's stretch out our left arm. Left arm comes up high, straight back. Right arm comes up, gives a little assistance. And we're breathing. Last breath. Nice, guys. Okay, let's go. Nice wide stance. Toes are slightly pointed out. Now let's reach down to our right leg for a right hamstring stretch. You just want to stretch until mild discomfort. There shouldn't be any sharp pains. It just should be a little discomforting. And then that lets you, that's your body's way of letting you know you've reached your, near the length of your, of your muscle. Getting these tight muscles nice and lengthened out. Okay, let's go hand over hand. So we come back up to standing, arm sweep up. Just another excuse to breathe. And we're going down to their left leg. Last breath here. Okay, hand over hand. Coming back up, standing. Very nice. A little more balance work here. If you don't want to work on the balance or you're having trouble, find uh, the edge of the sofa or a chair. Hold on to that as we go to right quadricep stretch. If you weren't satisfied with the balance work we did today, then just try closing your eyes here. One eye, maybe two. And that'll give you a little extra work there. For a deeper stretch, you just gotta kick back into your hand as your torso hinges forward if you need to feel a little more. Last breath. And let's slowly let her right leg drop down. Okay, standing quadricep stretch, left leg. Find that sofa or chair if you need it. Now stretch out that quadricep. Last breath, and down. Nice. Okay. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me once again in the outdoors. I appreciate you, and stay healthy, stay safe. Namaste.